Have you ever done anything to your system, like when you change your sump sock or, you know, heavily fed your corals or fish or just changed something and your skimmer went absolutely nuts and overflowed and all this skimmate went back into your system? Well, I'm going to show you how to avoid that from ever happening again. Welcome back, everybody. So... I don't know about you guys, but once in a while when I change my sump sock and my pinky filter at the same time, or if I do a large water change, or if I really heavily feed the corals and the fish at the same time, something happens in the water column and the skimmer picks it up and goes absolutely crazy and overflows. Now this has been running for about, I don't know, a week without cleaning it, and you can see there's a lot of gunk in there. And if this overflows, most of the time, all that skimmate is going to go back into your system, go into your sump. If you don't have a pinky pad or something like that, it could get sucked into your return line and then could push back in the display. So I didn't want to get anything crazy fancy to have to save this from happening. I don't have an Apex or anything like that. So I got myself this right here, the Auto Aqua Smart Skimmer Security. Now. I love this company. I use their auto top offs. I also use their auto temp smart, which piggybacks into my heater, which I'll show you right now. Let's go over to, so you see this little square block? That wire right there is for my heater. And this is the auto temperature sensor. It comes preset to, I think, 72 degrees to 82 degrees. And if it goes outside those parameters, it'll shut your heater off and this will start blinking and making a beeping sound. Really like it. So, what I got right here is the same type of device. But this is a little sensor. It's a magnetic sensor that you put inside your collection cup. And if it starts to fill up with water, it will shut your skimmer off. Super easy. It really doesn't get any easier than this. It does have instructions that I'm going to read. I'm just opening this for the first time. But it is extremely simple. You, like I said, you unplug your skimmer. You plug this into its spot. Plug your skimmer right back into here. Run this sensor to the collection cup. I believe the wire is 10 feet long. So that should be good enough. Because your skimmer wire, your skimmer plug is probably less than 10 feet. So... Wherever this is, I'm sure, will work with your collection cup. So I'm going to hook it all up, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so that's it. It's all installed. It literally took me three minutes tops, and that was probably because I just tidied up the, uh, the wire in the back a little bit. But really, really super simple plug and play. Plug it in, plug the skimmer directly into it, run your wire to it. Now, the cool thing is, is that the um, eye and the wire is on the outside, so you don't have to do any type of modifications to your lids, no drilling holes or notches or anything like that. I didn't really notice that when I purchased it, but I figured, you know what, I'll probably have to drill a hole in my skimmer lid, which is no big deal, but I didn't have to. So, awesome design there. I did run the wire to a piece of Velcro so that when I do take off the collection cup to clean it, this can just hang and it's not going to go in the water. Magnetic on the inside, so if you want to adjust your eye, you guys can see there, you don't even really have to get your hand in there. I'll probably leave it at about two inches off the bottom because I don't really want a completely full collection cup before I clean it. You know, if I get two inches of water in there, that's plenty. Time to clean it. So if I do forget, this is now going to tell me, hey, Billy, clean your collection cup. It's full of nasty stuff. Or if I'm sleeping, I'm away, and this thing goes bonkers, this is going to shut off my skimmer, and it's going to continue to beep until you unplug it and plug it back in, which is really nice. So, um, you know, if I'm not home, somebody comes home and says, hey, there's something beeping, I can ask them, what is it? They can look at which one it is, and I'll know right away, hey, the skimmer's overflowing for some reason, or I forgot to clean my collection cup. But, you know, we'll see how this works over the next few months. I'm sure within three to four weeks, this is probably going to be full of skimmate and water. And I'm actually just going to let it go and test this to make sure that it shuts it off properly. But 
Um, cool thing also is, is that it does have the five minute delay. So when you turn your system back on, this will have power, but it will not power up the device for five minutes, which is pretty cool. And um, same thing with power off. Once the the probe there, or the whatever you want to call it there, the little sensor on the inside, you can kind of see it. There it is. Once that sensor hits water and the eye uh, notices it, it will have the five minute delay. So instead of my skimmer overflowing for eight to ten hours while I'm at work or while I'm sleeping and I wake up and there's a huge mess, it's only going to overflow for five minutes, turn off, and then continue to beep. So really good. We will check in on this in a few months and see how it's working. So other than that, like I said, super easy, simple, plug and play, under 60 bucks. So that's it for now, guys. I hope this was a good one for you. And uh, if you run one of these, let me know how long you've had it and if you like it. So that's it for now. I will talk to you guys later. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.